I've been posted with my squad, yeah, with my fucking crew, and you know the team is gone. Yeah, we kinda are, but we got our own swag. Yeah, y'all niggas suck, I can go smoke a yeah. Everybody, yeah, yeah, in the building, yeah, yeah, feeling cool. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, welcome to today's video. Hello. How are you? I'm alright, we're back in the park again. I know, it's kinda deja vu, isn't it? But we're matching today. Yeah, how are your legs? Fine. Yeah? Yeah. How's the bike fit? Good. Yeah. Still good. I haven't grown. I haven't damaged myself. How are your glasses? Falling off my face as we speak. Ah, uh, that's what you get for buying vintage glasses made of cheese. They're not made of cheese. They're made of rubbish plastic. Seeing as I have a newly acquired power meter, today's video topic is going to be power. Now I'm no expert on power, but I have owned quite a few different power meters. I have used a power meter extensively for over four years of racing. It's a thing that's a pretty good purchase for experienced athletes and people who are new to cycling as well. It's windy! Are you enjoying the wind? No! My Calippo's got a weird nipple. I'm not eating it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. I've I'm got not, a film it on slow motion. I'm not falling for that again. What? I really want my ice cream, you really? It's not an ice cream, it's an ice lolly. So there's something about this cafe that really, really frustrates me. And it's the fact that the sign is written in Comic Sans. I haven't noticed that until you pointed it out a couple of weeks ago. I almost couldn't bring myself to stop here. In other news, who was the Morvello guy we saw? We did see a Morvello guy. They followed me on Instagram. And we saw a guy from Rafa BLT. Jack. 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 I don't think he's Jack. <laughs> it's really windy. Really windy. So there's a few different ways to measure how hard you're exerting yourself when you're out training. Usually while out riding, people will gauge their effort by perceived effort, by heart rate, or by power. Power meters are becoming much more common now. They used to be pretty expensive, and now there's lots of competition, so the prices are being driven down, which is a good thing. Because, because power really is the best way of measuring your training. The problem with heart rate is that it's affected big time by how tired you are. If you've been doing a lot of riding then you just can't get your heart rate up the next day. So there's a risk you'll end up training too hard. I'd even go as far to say I'd rather train with perceived effort over heart rate. Power, however, is a constant. 300 watts is always 300 watts. And that's measured usually by strain gauges inside your crank set or inside your pedals, or sometimes even on a rear hub. They range from around 400 pounds right up to 3000 pounds for your fancy SRMs and things like that. I'm riding the Info Crank, which allegedly is very, very accurate. It's a little bit heavy as a crank set goes, but it is rock solid, measures accurately and consistently, and you can change the battery yourself. Right, I'm gonna finish this power chat off later. It's ridiculously windy. The training going, are you gonna get a power meter soon? I don't know, am I gonna get a power meter soon? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Can you do enough watts for it to come up on the screen? Barbecue. Yeah, my bum's gone numb. Are we ever gonna get home because of this wind? Bikes on the floor. <laughs> we just get barbecue stir. Fake sausage. Fake sausages and fake steak for you. Yeah, but we still need to buy a barbecue. Oh crap! And yeah. all the other stuff. Can we just cook it in the oven? No. Why not? It's not then it's not a barbecue. What's the difference? Ah. Uh... <laughs> environmentally friendly one. I don't think any barbecues are really environmentally friendly. But we should get the one that says it is. Yeah. Good for your conscience. Right, that way. This is such a pathetic looking barbecue, isn't it? Something's up on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of it though, only a bit of it's on fire. Is that like piece of paper supposed to be in the middle of it? Yeah. Your food looks so healthy compared to mine. It's much greener, isn't it? This is a cheat day. All right. So, this is the lovely power meter that George at Verve has given me to play with. To get the most out of a power meter, you've got to do a little bit of work. To start with, you've got to calculate your power zones. Now, if you train with heart rate, you probably understand 
there's a few different zones for heart rate as well. It works in a very similar way for power. Essentially, you set your threshold. There's two types of threshold, lactate threshold, and then functional threshold power what you can do for an hour. And then you work out your power zones accordingly. You can specifically target areas that you're weakest at. Say you wanted to be a better time trialist, you can work on your 20 minute to an hour power. Say you wanted to be a better hill climber, you can aim to increase your one minute to five minute power. With the data you record, you can then put it on the computer and see exactly how many watts you're doing for each of the efforts you do, as well as being able to see it live on the actual screen of your bike computer. This becomes extremely useful when you're in a race as well, because after training with it for a while, you know exactly how long you can sustain certain power outputs for. If you go on a long breakaway, I know I can sustain 330 watts for however many minutes and you can sit at that and make sure you don't go too far into the red and end up in trouble. As I said earlier, it's a safer bet than training by heart rate because if you train by heart rate, it can be affected far too drastically by your current physical state, how tired you are. In an ideal world and you're using heart rate and power at the same time, you can then use a few different tricks to calculate your threshold without having to do a power test over and over again. Stuff like power distribution. I don't want to go too in depth in this video about that sort of thing. But if you guys would like to know a little bit more about power training and that sort of thing, I'm sure Ken from BPC, the pain cave we visited a few weeks ago, wouldn't mind going a bit deeper into the subject. He definitely knows a lot more than me about it. So do let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd like to hear about. This is a slightly shorter video today, seeing as I was at work all morning. You probably noticed that I've done even more easy spins than usual over the last few days. And that's because next week is the Alpine challenge. I'm going with hot chili to the Alps to do lots of mountains. So I'm sort of tapering off. I don't know. In any case, I'm gonna get some rest. See you guys soon.